Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. I got so many questions about this banner once I posted it and realized I never did the design space tutorial for it. So I wanna show you how to do it. It is super simple. Um, I hacked it a little bit, but it's something that you can totally do. Um, so I wanna show you what the, you know, what the canvas looks like, right? Basically, if you remember the gift wrap uh, present, it was basically a bunch of hearts and I, you know, th the colors are going to look weird to you because I basically did a bunch of yellow hearts, yellow and white. And so I just created a bunch of sizes and I knew I wanted to layer it so that it had, you know, like, oh, it, that it wasn't so flat. Um, and so I just took a bunch of different yellow cardstock. I had regular yellow cardstock. I had shimmer cardstock. Um glitter cardstock uh so just a mix of yellows and whites so that it didn't um it didn't look so repetitive but it looked really like a comprehensive cohesive look which is what i always try to do um uh try to keep that in mind when i'm using a lot of different colors to kind of like tone it down a little bit because i I would describe myself as extra. <laughs> Whenever I'm crafting, I love my glitter, I love my sparkle, and I tend to like overdo it a lot. So I'm always constantly trying to edit myself. Um, and for some, I'm sure it's still too much, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so that's why the hearts are in, you know, diff weird colors because it just signified like the black one was like a different type of cardstock and then the gray one was a different type of cardstock. Anyway, um, uh, the banner, because it's on a present, I only had so much real estate to work with, right? So I did, I didn't want to do the name because her name is Dylan. Um, it was going to be five, you know, banner pieces instead of, you know, her age six. So that's kind of why I did it that way. Um, for a present, I think it's okay, right? For a present, we're just, it's going to stand out. It's going to look amazing. You know, they'll want to save it. For a real banner, like if you're actually putting it on the wall for a birthday, of course, like you're going to have to size that appropriately. And then I would spell out the name. Dylan is six. Dylan turns six. That kind of thing. Okay. So let's get started. The first, uh, one of the questions that I have gotten a lot since I posted it that um, the picture and the video is which font did I use? This is rainbow. I don't know where I got it from. So hopefully just knowing that it's rainbow, that you guys can find it. It could, is it possible? How would I know if it's a design space font? Oh, wait, rainbow. It looks like, is, does that mean it's, it's single layer cutting? Is that what it looks like when it's a design space one? I'm not sure, but anyway, it's called Rainbow. I apologize, I realize I'm already like rambling over here. <laughs> All right, the next thing we wanna do is, let's find our little banner and see which banner I used image info okay so it's from the banner the to find it it's hashtag m or pound sign hashtag <laughs> pound m four four five eight one okay so um oh so when you click i didn't realize you could click on it okay so when you click on it it takes you here oh but it doesn't that's weird okay so let me go back to Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so let me, so you right click on something and then you can go to the image, right? So let me, um, let me search for this one. And we'll see what we get. Okay, so let's go to images. And pound M44581. So you do need to put the pound sign. All right, so here it is. Um, I insert it, so click on it and insert it so you can see it's part of Cricut Access. And 
And you're gonna wanna size it, up, you know, according to like, if you're doing the same thing that I'm doing with the gift wrap, you know, I specifically, sometimes it's bad. I feel sorry for my, my daughter's friends. Um, I will buy presents based on how I think I can wrap it. So I love my rectangle, like rectangular presents. I don't like cylinder-ish um, things, and I don't like it when there's no cover to it, you know, like think of the Barbie presents where um, it's rectangular, but then the, the, the front surface is like there's divots, right? It's based on whatever thing that you're buying. I don't buy those. I hate them. So I have to buy something that I can wrap really uh, pretty, pretty, prettily <laughs> and that I can do something with it. So Anyway, um, the size that I ended up going with is because I had the three letters. I didn't want it to be too small. It ended up being three inches wide. So I had nine inches. And just remember too, like I, the way I did it was I looped it through my ribbon. So that's what these um, rectangles are for. I had the ribbon sliding in and out. Um, so I made them three inches, but if you need more space remember that if you hang it like this like a you know like a smiley face right um then you can make them bigger because the they won't take up as much space because you're um you're having them like go like this so across will be like a smaller space so just kind of keep that in mind um okay i apologize <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be recording today. I'm all over the place. Okay, let me show you how to make those little cuts, okay? So let's do this. We have this. Let's just say this is the right size. Well, I'll make them three inches. All right, so here's three inches. Now I made little, I sliced out little circles to put the string through. So that was like a critical piece, right? So let's do that. Let's um, make our circles. So I would just drop in a circle and make it really small. I don't know what size I ended up going with. So I probably made it 0 0.20. So let me try that. Um, it's probably this size. Let's see. Yep. And so the reason why I guessed it was 0 0.20 is because it was at like 0.24 right and it looked too big I like to round my numbers down instead of just sizing it because if I ha ever have to recreate it or I don't know something happens it's a lot easier to be able to type in your measurement as opposed to eyeballing it okay so I I mean I just learned that lesson from off the map projects I don't always do it because sometimes I'm in a rush but when I do it's really I mean honestly it's a good a best practice that I think um, we should implement. <laughs> Can you tell I used to design processes? Okay, so um, we're gonna put this here, right? And then duplicate. And duplicate. And don't worry about lining them up. We are gonna line them up in a second. And then I'll just grab these three and duplicate. So we've got six little circles. Okay, so let's kind of put them where, oh, interesting. So this little guy is not even, like look at, it's a cute little banner. I, I don't think I noticed that the first time around. Okay. So we kind of want them like in the middle of the space, but we're going to line it up because we want them to be straight across, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, hit the shift key and, you know, grab all of our circles in the panel. The reason why I did it over here is it's a lot easier for me to grab it here than with the banner and everything over here. All right, so now what we wanna do is we wanna go to align and we want to center them vertically. Okay, so they're all lined up straight. Let's look at that. Now, if we like everything, this one feels like, mm, no, 
yeah, it feels pretty good. Maybe move this one just a smidge over. All right, so now I moved it over. I'm just gonna grab these again in case I moved it up and down a little bit. I wanna go to align and I want to center it vertically. Okay, there wasn't any movement. And then I'm actually going to weld it. The reason why I'm welding it is because I wanna slice it from the, the two banner pieces. And if I didn't weld it, I would have to slice each circle out one at a time because you can only slice two things at a time. So if they were individual circles, I would have to slice each circle with each banner piece each time. So if you weld it, then I'm able to, the circles is now one image. It, the one image contains six circles. And then I'm gonna slice it from this banner. So I have, um, I'm gonna select my circles, hit the shift key. I'm gonna select my green banner. So on my right hand side panel here, and then I'm gonna slice. And because I'm not moving anything, all I have to do is now grab the circles again, but this time I'm gonna grab the maroon banner. So hit the shift key and grab the maroon banner over here, and then I'm gonna slice. So now what we just basically did is we, we have a, a straight line of circles and we are cutting it like totally identically um on top of each other so that my banner pieces will totally line up i know i said totally so many times such a california girl um so um when i lay my banner pieces on top of each other they are gonna fit perfectly like um like they should right okay so now with my slice results i can just delete the circles i don't need the circles anymore right i have my two banners that are cut perfectly and you can see I'm not moving it just yet, right? I'm gonna grab this maroon banner and I'm gonna click arrange and send it to the back so that I can see what it looks like. Now I wanna add my rectangles. I wanna do the same thing. I wanna slice it out so that it is identical on the green and the maroon banner, okay? So let's go to shapes, click a square because they don't have rectangles, right? The way you turn the square into a rectangle is we're gonna unlock it and we're going to now be able to move it however now i think pretty much when i did this i did not listen to my own advice um i like i think i did eyeball this so i love i love this rectangular uh slit the banner the ribbon goes in so easily I absolutely love it as opposed to a dot. So I think from now on, you're gonna see a lot more rectangles in my banners. Um, there's just, it's just so much easier to, to slide in and out. Okay, so I, again, what you wanna do is you wanna copy and um, paste. So Control C, Control V, or just duplicate. And then we're gonna put it over here, right? So the first thing is I would definitely, let's see, let's put it where we want to. Okay, so I'm gonna line up these two, right? I'm gonna grab my two squares, rectangles, go to align, and I'm just gonna align on top. So I want them to you know, match perfectly, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld it. Now you might say, wait a minute, this, looks, this rectangle looks closer to this edge. It's okay, um, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna grab the rectangles and we're gonna grab the Band. Oh, wait, I'm gonna grab this whole thing, sorry. I'm gonna grab this whole thing, okay? And I'm gonna align, um, I'm gonna align center vertically. No, I didn't want that. I think I'm okay. Okay, uh, no, that's not what I wanted, sorry. I want to grab this whole thing and I wanna center it Horizontally? No. I want to, hold on. There's something going on with me right now. Where is my, oh, my red one's all the way down here. Okay, so I wanna grab, let's grab this one, the green and the rectangle and align. 
I do want to center it. Maybe I want to center it. All right. So it looks like it's now, if you center it, then I know it's even from the two edges. And then now I'm just going to move it up like this to where I want it. I'm sorry. I just center it so that you know um, the rectangles are now like even, even spaced from the edges. I, am I even speaking English right now? <laughs> okay, so if you like that, holy, okay. Um, grab your rectangles, grab the green banner and slice. Then you're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna grab the rectangles and we're gonna grab the maroon and slice. Okay, so I'm now gonna grab the rectangles, go down, scroll, hit shift, grab the maroon and slice. So now, oops, let me undo that for a second. Uh, it looks off for some reason. That's so weird. It looks like it shifted, but it should not have. Um, okay, I'm gonna hit this again. Hold on. I don't know why that, that somehow our little guy shifted a little bit. So let me put this back. Um, let's align top and align center. Okay. I don't know. At some point, I guess it, it moved a little bit. Now, what we can do here is we can duplicate this piece. Okay. I'm gonna move it aside. This is now just like design space. Like when you run into this problem where like all of a sudden your piece is shifted and you're just trying to make it work again, you can always go to align like we did. We aligned the top, we centered it so we know that it's you know perfectly now, these two pieces are perfectly aligned. But now I want my rectangles there, right? So what you can do is you can click on this green piece and go to contour and we can hide everything except for these two pieces, I think. Mm, okay, we can, can we do this? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing any, anymore right now, sorry. I was gonna say we can slice it. I, I apologize, I'm like really um, not thinking today. Um, I'm gonna try to match it up to see it doesn't match up anymore. I do wanna make these perfect. All right, I'm gonna try this. So I'm gonna grab these two. I'm gonna slice it. Normally I can think ahead, <laughs> but my mind is kinda of occupied these days, so I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna remove this. We don't need, uh, we don't really need it, but we can leave it. Okay on this maroon one. Oh, here, what I want is on this one, I'm gonna hit contour. I wanna get rid of these little pieces, right? So I have my gaps. Okay, then what I wanna do is I wanna grab this and I'm gonna weld it. I'm re-piecing it together. I know, it's such a workaround. If if I didn't mess up, I wouldn't have had a problem, but I just wanted to show you kind of like, think of like how you can fix your mistakes in design space, okay. It might have been easier just to start over. <laughs> but okay, here are our two pieces. They are perfectly aligned. And that's what's important. I'm gonna arrange, send to the front, and I'm gonna prove it to you. Um, let's grab these two items, and we are going to align top 
and then we're gonna align center horizontally and they are perfect okay so now what you can do is you can bring in your um, your font so your letter and then right you can size it accordingly arrange center to the front and you know I love to do offsets because it just gives you that extra layer it's easy these are just thin letters it doesn't take up a lot of paper so let's go to offset love that the offset feature is now available in design space so you just click on offset I personally like a thinner offset so I will always just type in 0.1 just to see what it looks like that's my first like go to so here that is I'm gonna apply and you know just change the color of your offset so if you want I did do my offset the same color and I did the top layer different colors so you know work with your color scheme um, and you know figure that out so the S is done you can do that with the I and the X or whatever letters that you do then the next thing is um, the hearts so I believe that this is an image so the image info, yep, it's hearts. It's pound M980320. You go to images, you type that in and you insert it. And then you resize it. Now I, um, you know, cause it was on the present, um, some hearts like fit, like, you know, fit on the corner of the banner a little bit. And then I put it on the ribbon. So it was just like a really beautiful um, arrangement almost, if you want to call it that. Okay, once you figure out your banner, right, we want three, right? So I would just grab it and duplicate and duplicate again. And then same thing with the hearts. Whenever I'm doing like a piece like this, I did, uh, I can't remember if it came with the offset or not, but you can, you know, again, easily apply the offset. But the way I go about doing my hearts is I will size one, right? And then I'll copy and paste and then I'll make it just slightly smaller just to give it a little variety right a little bit smaller a little bit bigger and then I'll duplicate it so I'll grab the whole three set like the three pieces in that set and then duplicate it so size it once and then once you have a few sizes you can grab all of them and then duplicate and get like many of those items all right <laughs> <clears throat> I have, I, you know, I have a lot on my mind. I, my videos feel, uh, my, my videos are as scattered as my brain. Um, okay. Love you guys. Thank you for your patience and let me know what you want to see. Comments, questions, you know, this, this tutorial came out because a bunch of you guys were asking me so many questions and I was like, hold on, let me just recreate the, let me just create the tutorial, recreate the project, create the tutorial. All right. Love you guys. <laughs>